everyone, my name is Grace Wells and this week I'm going to be doing something that I have never done before on this channel, which is that I'm going to try to recreate a video that I really admire by another filmmaker and YouTuber. And my reason for doing this is that I'm still in lockdown and I'm trying to find ways to kind of improve on my videography and tap into techniques that I've never used before. In particular, today I'm going to be recreating a video by Daniel Schiffer. Now, Daniel Schiffer is known for his handheld B-roll techniques, his really cool camera movements, his great transitions. And while I do shoot B-roll all the time, I don't really tend to do it handheld, I tend to use a gimbal. So I wanna to try to push myself today to do some handheld B-roll and to recreate a serial commercial that Daniel posted around about a week or two ago on YouTube. Again, this is very different from any project I've ever done before. Those of you who are familiar with my work will know that this is not really the style that I usually go for. So I don't really know how this is gonna turn out, but um, I guess we're just gonna see what happens. So here we have the box of Cheerios, and as you can see, I've lit it from the side to kind of throw a nice shadow in the back. And I've also put this second light over here so that it creates a nice gradient effect. So because I have my tabletop set up, I'm actually going to be doing the tabletop shots first. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the spin shot, which is the second shot of the video itself. For the spinning, Daniel puts a screw through a piece of wood and sets the box on top of it. I don't exactly have a plank of wood lying around in my flat, so I'm actually just gonna use this turntable, which hopefully will spin fast enough. In order to attach the empty cereal box to the turntable, I used some white tack, but unfortunately it wasn't heavy enough and it didn't spin very well, so I then used this random roll of scotch tape and put that inside as well, and it spun a lot better. Now for today's video, I'm going to be using my Sony a7 III and I'm going to be filming at 120 frames per second because when I slow down some of these shots, I want them to be really clean and crisp. I don't want any motion blur. So I'm gonna shoot at a high frame rate to make sure I don't get any motion blur and that everything just looks really sharp. Oh my God, <laughs> so professional. <laughs> so what I need you to do is I need you to spin this box. Ooh. Go. Oh, I did too much. <laughs> this is why I don't do sports. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think that might be better. Okay. 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 Hold it like up. One, two, three. Hey, that wasn't bad. Ooh, that was good. shoot the final shot of the video which is actually the most difficult shot because it's three shots in one and there's gonna be a little bit of masking involved in post but I have confidence I have confidence I'm gonna figure it out and it's gonna look good it's gonna be fine. so I'm 
now I've got the spinning box, I've got a plain backdrop. The third shot, I need to get the Cheerios flying up in the air. Now, what Daniel does in his video is he has a tray. I'm just gonna use the, the acrylic that I was using before as the tabletop. Pour the Cheerios on top and just give it a little flick like that and hopefully the Cheerios will fly vertically into the air and my room's gonna be covered in Cheerios. And that's a sentence I never thought I'd say in my life, ever. I'm so scared. Like, I'm scared to commit to this right now. One, two, three. That did not look good. That did not look good. This is hard. Three. Okay. So what I've done here is I've set my camera up on an overhead rig and I'm going to be doing some stop motion from above. In order to achieve this shot, what I essentially have to do is just take one clip of a few seconds of each of the patterns of the Cheerios and then I'm gonna cut them together later for a stop motion effect. Okay, that's a wrap on the cereal commercial. I am so, so excited to get this into Premiere Pro and to start editing it, because I think it's gonna look really good. I'm less excited about cleaning up my room. Why did I do this to myself? Hello again. So it is two days later and it did take me quite a few hours to figure out, but I did manage to get the commercial edited. So here is the final product. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I actually think it went surprisingly well. I didn't know how this was gonna go because I've really never done any of these techniques before, especially some of the editing I had to do in post in After Effects. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly surprised myself and I'm really, really proud with the results. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Daniel Schiffer. He really is the creative mastermind behind this, obviously. Um, he did all the heavy lifting coming up with the idea and I just kind of executed it. So if you wanna go check him out, I would really recommend it. He is awesome, he's phenomenal. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe so that you can see all of my future videos. And thank you so much for watching. Keep on shooting. I'll see you next time. Bye.